And we're back with some more RimWorld, and today we will be dealing with, what, let's see, how many, how many days in are we? We are, ooh, 12 days into our ship reactor setup. Uh, we have been attacked God knows how many times, and we're about to be hit by 25 centipedes. So, let's uh, immediately fire upon these centipedes and hopefully murder a bunch of them. We'll target the ones uh, right about there. Uh, oh, all fire is set. That's fine, we'll just get rid of that again. Now, where was Kira? We're going to get Kira over here. And she was about to help out by maybe teleporting them or hitting them with chaos or something to just stop them. We really just want to spit them up. Ooh, excellent. So a bunch of them now just got stopped and they even got damaged a bit, which works for us. If we can spit this group up into smaller, more bite-sized chunks, that's sort of the whole goal. In fact, we'll let them continue targeting like that. I don't care if it's slow or fast targeting, so long as they get it done. Now we're going to bring Kira out and get her involved in this little bit of fun. Well, here comes our fun little plan. We've brought up Rolorn. Uh, the centipedes have all decided they want to attack this direction, probably because we opened that door, but I think we can use this to buy ourselves a little bit of time. So what we'll do is we'll just invisibility on Kira. Then we can have her run out here and apply a little bit of a berserk pulse lovin' to these ones. Oh, yeah, it seems they're completely resistant to that. That's... Ooh, you better run away. Oh, perfect. Now they should murder each other very nicely. Time for us to run away. Come on, shoot each other to bits. That's it. Uh, at the same time, we will close this door behind us. Now, what all we want to do is just slow them down. Stop them from doing... Stop them from attacking all in one big group, and if they're split up, all the better. Nice. Now, I've stopped the mortar firings, though I'm going to let everyone reload. Once they're all reloaded, we'll get them get back to work. Uh, reason being, I, I like to have these ready to go, just in case there's any uh, emergency things that need doing. Oh, you know what? You can help uh, man that mortar until it's uh, reloaded. But I think that worked out quite nicely. A bunch of them should now be wounded. We'll let them run back into the kill box. Maybe uh, run these out again and do something similar in a minute. You know, let's uh, maybe hit them up a little bit more berserk pulse. There we go. I, I really do love just picking them apart. Getting into a big fight with them would be a bad idea. But letting them fight each other, far more entertaining. It will damage our kill box a bit, we'll have to repair it, but... Hey, so long as they keep spreading out and beating the snot out of each other, I am not going to complain. Uh, there's nothing better than watching your enemies tear themselves apart. Though, yeah, the incendiary launchers are not really doing much damage to them. Uh, so long as they're spread out. The more they spread out, the easier it will be for us to deal with them when they get to the end. So the only question now is, did we do enough? Did we spread them out far enough apart? This big blob makes me uncomfortable, but then we've got a big gap before we've got to do the second half. So I think this here, oh, yeah, these ones here, will be the problem, the first 11. Now we've got Riker putting down some EMP grenades there. The reason for that is you can miss by one, so if he misses by, say, and ends up over here, he'll, his, he'll still get them so long as not standing on the sandbags. Once the sandbags go, we'll pull it back a notch. At the same time, there was a, a suggestion, well, several suggestions in the comments to try grenades. And while I do like them, uh, they can also miss by a chunk, so we have to sort of aim here, otherwise we're going to start blasting our sandbags instantly. And we we sort of have to dial it back. If we do end up with a big clump, and we can help clump them up by using some of our skip abilities, so we can use skip to get them all into one spot, and then just start lobbing grenades like crazy on that one spot, that would be an idea, and I think it's something we're going to try for. Well, without further ado, let's see what happens to these, uh, the first early ones. Oh, and it's already one of these guys. Never mind, insta-stun. Oh, and we swapped out to start using some of the miniguns as well. Okay, I think it off one shot. No one set on fire, that's good. Uh, EMP, come on, come on. Oh, that one's actually decided to stay in there. That's a problem. We need to coax them out. Unfortunately, the kill box was not fully repaired before we started this, so the walls are probably not going to hold up for very long. Oh, come on, just, just eat an EMP and stop being such a pain. There we go. Much tastier. Oh. I didn't put the animals in a safe zone, did I? It's been a while since I've used miniguns. I've forgotten the enormous amount of collateral damage they do. We've managed to strip off huge chunks of the wall here with this. Sulu, buddy, why are you standing out there? You should be in much better cover than that. Uh, one second, well, well, we get them to some semblance of safety. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just continue with the last one. There's only, what, two left? Three left. We could should take care of these pretty easily, and as long as we get an EMP off on them, they should be able to return fire more than once. Oh, come on. Timing on that was not great. Now we just have to repair all the walls. 
dear lord, that did an enormous amount of damage to our walls. Uh, we managed to also incinerate most of the centipedes. Well, I wouldn't say incinerate, but the grenades did a good number on making sure none of their corpses were left around. And, wow, you're just going to walk a bunch of polar bears to my base. Uh, health and safety people, someone, someone want to do something about that? That just seems really dangerous. Another good thing that was brought up in the last episode was warfare. Now that they've got their trauma savant thing, which has made their social abilities absolutely useless, one question was, what has that done to their brick-making ability, which is what they've pretty much been doing for most of the game. It has done wonderful things to their brick-making ability. It's now where 194% labour speed. Most people only have 100, but the bionic arm combined with their 20% from neurotic, then you throw on an extra 50% from their uh, trauma savant, they're, they can make bricks for days. Can't talk anymore, but they can smash rocks like good old. The goods trader did pass through has nothing too special, but we'll take the psychic soothe pulter, shock lance, and insanity lance. Oh, and I didn't hit commit, did I? They won't hurt. Having those about, we'll just uh, make sure they're hauled urgently. Made a bit of a mistake here when on these haulings. I never actually expanded the hauling zone. Uh, I've let, let them out the colonists out now. They'll be able to go out and grab those in a minute. However, there's one thing we have to deal with first, and that's our next raid, which happens to be. Yep, mech hive. Again. <laughs> Cassandra, you're becoming predictable. I mean, I know you want to hurt us, but seriously? Come on, give us the centipedes. Give us the centipedes. Don't be a wuss about it. Make sure it's lots of centipedes. <laughs> oh, what? That's not enough centipedes. Like, that's only 17 centipedes. <laughs> Nine lancers and 12 scythers. Doddle. An absolute doddle. It'll be f <laughs> Let's just make sure we get our kill box finished before they get here. We have a minor problem, and that is that... All of these traders over here are being absolute wallies. Yep, that, that's right. God damn it. Come on, Chatsia, just get a little bit closer, can you? Yeah, there we go. Ooh, all right. Oh, yeah, we'll have to break that down at some point as well. Uh, maybe we'll have you attack that wall. Uh, just so that we can get in and get our grenadiers in there. The reason I did that, though, was because... They kept leaving the door open, and then they had the discourtesy to die in the doorway, jamming it open. Well, I didn't know they were going to do that at the time, but I was pretty sure they were going to let the, the enemies in, which is what they normally do, because traitors are so goddamn dumb. Anyway, uh, let's go get ourselves some EMPers, our people, and get everyone who's not injured into the kill box. And here comes more grist for the mill. Yeah, that's not going to be well for you, buddy. I wouldn't stand there. I don't think we've managed to repair everything. I can't really see with all the dead bodies in the way, but I don't think we got all the sandbags replaced. But most of the walls seem to be up and running. We've switched to a double EMP thing so we can stagger the fire, namely because we've got to deal with lancers, scythers, everything all bunched up. These, uh, mm, these tribals really helped us not by making everything bunch up even tighter. Normally you just deal with the scythers and the lancers, and then you just have to deal with the centipedes afterwards, but now they're all mixed together. Before this kicks off, though, we have to deal with the door. <laughs> the walls eventually fell, and because of that, we need to immediately get that door closed. Did I get it closed? Yeah, that should be it. You can drop that corpse there. We'll worry about those later. Now we've got a bunch of these... Siege. Okay. Seriously, guys. And one of them is the lover of Quark. Oh, that's just mean. Um, Right, where are you dropping? Way out there. Okay, so we got to deal with these and then immediately deal with the siege. What are we up to now? We have two days in, and this is two days left to go. So means there's 13 days, and this is our 13th raid. It's an anniversary. 13 days of ship engines, 13 raids. Ah, uh, gotta love it. Uh, so this is pirates, at least, and not mechanoids. I'll come back to look at you in a second. I want to see what type of pirates we're dealing with. What do we got? Come on. Let's see here. We've got... Oh, that's a lovely assortment of weapons. We've got a few of those triple rockets in there. Three triple rocket launchers. Oh, that, that's tasty. No doomsdays, though. Kind of disappointing. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a mess. I'm thinking a cloaked caster with berserk would make a lovely mess. Uh, but we've got to deal with these guys first. Dear Lord, it takes all day to kill them. Well, they're all done for, except for one centipede at the very rear. Don't know why they're there. Don't really care. Uh, that one, that one's going to be an annoyance. We might actually just send in our animals to take care of that one. We need all our people manning mortars or on their way over there to complicate their lives with some berserk pulses. Let's, uh, let's get together a battle plan. Their first mortar shell fortunately hit inside our kill box and didn't actually, well, kill anyone. We've got Kira and we've got Rolorn over here. This should be not the worst. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. We're getting closer, getting closer. Now, 
The plan here is Kira goes, oop, Lauren, just stay there. Kira goes first. She gets cloaked. And then once we've cloaked her, she runs in and does her mojo. Perfect. Now she can run around the corner with ease. And she can do a nice big berserk pulse. And we just gotta get something quite tasty. Ooh, right there looks great. There. Now, how much time do we have left? We have 11 seconds only on her invisibility and she's burned through most of her mana reserves. You know what? We shall call that successful and run away. All we need is for one of them to fire. Oh, that's a, that's a mortar. Uh, I want to keep track of the mortar, but I also want to see if they use the triple rocket launcher. <laughs> and... Oh, come on! Ooh, Tasha, I hope you're okay. Are you okay? It's fine, it's right beside a... It actually hit the fire foam popper. We're golden, we're golden. Oh, oh, God. Uh... Yep. Oh, God! Right, they mangled themselves. Perfect. I'm pretty sure they started the attack, but I missed the text up in the top right. You can go through. Uh, roll orange. You know what you can do? Yeah, that's perfect. Well, they're not getting through that. Now, we just got to make sure we don't wander down this direction. If you wander down here, well, these guys can shoot across with some of their weaponry. But I think that's pretty much them broken. They're going to have to come around the, into the kill box right about now. And do they have any explosive... One triple rocket launcher left. That's it. Yeah, I think we got this. Well, they did leave a wonderful mess behind here. Somehow 13 of them died in that whole exchange. Oh, nope, there's one left alive as well. So 13 died, one down. That is actually pretty good for us. Uh, they've only got 41 left. We're going to have Sulu EMP the front, namely because they have shield belts, and we want to make sure that those shield belts don't slow us down. Uh, you know what? Put it right about there. Perfect. And uh, we'll have Quark come over here. They're a little bit injured, but their job will be to tank if anyone gets through, and we just have an enormous amount of people ready to shoot them. Considering what we do to centipedes, I'm pretty sure a few pirates aren't going to cause us too much trouble. All right, small problem here. They're about to try and bull their way through here, which, uh, yeah. Sulu, just, uh, get out of the way. Quark, you know what? Just stand your ground, buddy. Uh... We might want to do something with them. Vertigo Pulse? Yeah, though, but we do want to hit our own people. Oh, wow, they are going to try and go through Quark. Ow! Oh, yeah, Quark did not need that. Sulu. Oh, Sulu's getting attacked as well. Uh, Rolorn. I'm going to get you back here to shoot them in the back. Nope, nope. Not them. Shoot the one that's... You know what, Judzia? Maybe don't do that. You might end up accidentally shooting Rolorn. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Kill tank. Kill tank. Okay, finally. Finally, they're down. Uh, Sulu, you might want to get out of there. Uh, everyone else, just shoot wherever you like. Perfect. Oh, look, Quark's all happy someone died. <laughs> they finally got what they deserved, those people who beat the snot out of me. Though, in all fairness, Quark has been taking a major beating this entire series. Okay, enemies done. We need to replace that door quickly. Uh, I think that's the major thing. We've got 1.6 days left, which means probably only another two attacks to go. I think... I think... I think we're doing... we're almost there. We're, we're so close and no one's dead yet. Yeah, it turns out Cassandra was listening, but uh, i just like to point out Quark here. Despite all of the horrible things that have happened to them, they have lost a nose, the right eye, they've got bruises all over their torso, uh, they lost their entire right arm to a warhammer, had to be replaced. Or, was it was a warhammer? I can't remember. Left arm bruised, left leg completely destroyed, right leg hit with a heavy charge blaster and left pinky completely gone. Yet happiness-wise, maxed out 100 percent happy they could not be happier at all of this namely because they witnessed four people die and they killed two people personally also they've attended a wedding beautiful environment few things but they're just blissfully happy despite all the terrible things that have happened to them. which is great because now we have a group of pirates from the devil imps have dropped right on top of you now i have been uh, worrying about this for a while. I've uh, done some organization. This person's going to move here. A bunch of other people are going to move over here. Our hospital people are going to evacuate. This is landing, what it, from what I can tell, is landing right in the middle between our hospital, our dining area, and our kill box. This is going to suck. And our people are going to get split up, which is also going to suck. The only hope we have of taking care of this with the minimal amount of casualties will be if Kira gets off a good berserk pulse on them. Because she's literally standing right where they're trying to land. It was like Cassandra was trying to kill her, but it's, no, 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 no. You don't do that to a caster. Oh, God. Right. Hmm. Bonzo, I can see that question mark beside you. That, that, that's very re reasonable. 
I would be curious too as to what the hell was going on. Um, you know what? I think everyone here is going to have to leg it. Yeah, I can't have them hanging around or they will end up dead. Ooh, Sulu, I was going to get you to toss a grenade in there, but those two over here have changed my mind. Hmm, actually, you know what? Maybe we could let that door close and take on those two with this team in here. I think that will be the idea. We'll have the four people that are on this side take on those two. Uh, that might be a bad idea. Well, Quark is badly injured, but hopefully, just hopefully, you can pull something off. That door should auto-close now. That door does not... Yes, it does. Okay, Picard is getting out of there. O'Brien, I need you to leg it into the kitchen, and then maybe come down here. Should I... Once you've legged it into the kitchen, come down there. That would be smarter. Kira, your berserk pulse. When it goes off, who can you nail? Uh, only four. Dear Lord, look at the amount of people that landed in the hospital. That is just... You monsters! <laughs> Uh, you, I want you to toss a grenade right about there. And Alex and Cisco, yep, you are beautiful right where you are. Thinking Picard, you get behind there. Rolorn, yeah, you're coming up. You've got a vertical pulse and a berserk pulse of your own, so we're going to bring you in. Come on. Oh, yeah, two people have popped out. O'Brien's going to make it away there. Kira, time to almost wind up. Oh, God. That person. That person needs to stop stop what they're doing. They need to... Um, hmm. All right. Very, very simple plan. Uh, Kira here is going to berserk pulse this location right there and then run around the corner. Okay. Boom. That's per... Oh, God. Our dogs opened the doors over here. That's, that's not good. You need them there. Uh, our animals will get a bit hurt, but you know what? It's better than what could have potentially happened. Uh, they, those four are berserk, that person's berserk, and they've got a doomsday. Oh, at least they're melee attacking. Our hospital is doomed. These people over here are going to do their thing. They're going to shoot in at their own people. That is great. Our grenadier is going to launch grenades on top of them while these two riddle them full of bullets. And Quark has just about picked up their personalized sword and they're about to come over. Uh, Banzo is eating some pemmican. Right. Let's see where the everyone else is. You three, you, all of you, you ten. We need to spit you up. Okay, let's see how the situation unfolds. We gotta wait until these berserk people are finished murdering each other. Oh, that guy ran away from the grenade. Well, you can't do that. That's cheating. Uh, someone killed one of our puppies. Uh, please note them down for later. Was it this guy? Oh God, we need to get out of here. Quark, run that direction. Uh, Sulu. Cisco Neelix, uh, maybe reposition yourselves in a strategic withdrawal all the way over there. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, that door got opened by probably one of our dogs. Yeah, my bad. I should have confined the animals before this all started out. They're all still murdering each other, which is nice. Ow. That, that sounds bad. Now, Kira, have you got enough wind up for another berserk pulse no you do not but we may have to overcharge you it may be our only way if we can put a berserk pulse down on top of there we could probably get rid of most of them our hospital's a goner that's acceptable but i think we'll wait until the rest of the berserkers are done come on oh god you guys walk that way oh ho, 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 ho. oh ow ow what was that what exploded? All right, had a quick glance back through the footage, and I saw what I missed. This guy, Ellie. You'll notice Ellie has nothing in their hands anymore. That's because they fired a doomsday right down here, and they clipped somewhere about there, causing this beautiful, beautiful explosion. Well, uh, that's a mess. Quark, uh, actually, you know what, Quark, you should retreat that way. That's your closest exit. You want to stay away from those fellas. Uh, you have all went that direction, so you know what? Just keep going that direction. Our dogs are all going to wander that way. Ellie, you're about to have a really bad day, buddy. I think we've taken out all their heavy weapons, guys, except this guy. Guy. <laughs> guy Vogel. But once he's down, they're down to just regular weapons. Okay, well, assault shotguns, a few close combat people. But I think a quick berserk pulse or two should take care of that. That one doomsday made such a beautiful, glorious mess of them all. Mmm. Yummy. And you killed my dog. You're not getting off the map, buddy. Don't worry, Porthos. We got, we got this guy. Uh, where is everyone else? Uh, let's uh, slowly grind this forward a bit. Guy, would you just die? Perfect. That means we can get other people in there to help out shortly. Well, I think this guy, Blitz, is about to run around the corner. And when he does, he'll run into Rolorn, Picard, and Kira. Which is fine. And then we've got our people coming out this direction. They're going to move out that door. They should hopefully be able to seal, well, seal that from the top. 
they're busy building and killing your hospital, which sucks, but I mean, I'm kind of okay with it, to be honest. Oh, they've broken. They've actually broken. That's good. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, they're all going to try and run by Quark, but Noodles, Noodles, you're going nowhere, buddy. You've got to be stopped. You're a monster. Are those two, are those two beating each other up? Why? Mental state feeling in panic. Okay, you two want to beat the snot out of each other, that's fine. I, I think Lou here is actually a nice guy, and when he saw Noodles kill the dog, he's like, no, Noodles, man, that's not on. We're pirates. We, we just drop potted into a, into a hospital that was trying to save people's lives, and we may be bad pirates, but we don't kill dogs. Everyone knows that. Keanu Reeves will come get you. Uh-oh, just realized something. Banzo's about to finish his dinner and about to leave. That, that... Ooh, Banzo, this, this could be bad for you. Tell you what, we will berserk pulse all of them. And then they should... Oh, it doesn't work on them. Even though they've got Berserk Pulse, they're not going to do anything. Once they're fleeing, they don't care anymore. That's a new one on me. I had no idea. Uh, we're going to have Quark over here, and hopefully he can take a, a pot shot at people who try and leave. Bonzo! Bonzo, no! Don't! 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 Do it, buddy, you just finished your dinner! Uh, perfect, perfect. Whew. Oh, yeah, I think that's done with. We're going to wait till these people come out and when they try and leave, we're going to kill them. Oh, Noodles is down. That's what you get, you monster. Mm, if, if I was playing this game longer, I'd keep him around as a cadaver. Well, medical experimentational device. And we'll let Uka, whoever that is, go. They're one of our people. Oh, wait, that was it. They're not even a pirate. They're actually one of the traitors. They're a friend of Banzo. You two guys have been doing well. Kicking some ass, guys. Well, our enemies are fleeing off the map. All the ones that didn't kill any puppies. Or, well, okay, maybe a few did. I couldn't get them all. We're going to clean up our hospital. Surprisingly enough, we only lost one bed. We did not lose a wall or a door. However, we will also probably have to replace the roof. Sulu is already in there awaiting medical treatment. Though I prefer it. Ambrosia Sprout. Thanks, Cassandra. You're, you're just... You're just legendary. Uh, we have 13 hours left until the ship engine starts. I'm going to frantically try and repair the doors. Uh, that should keep us going. Hey, Noodles, how are you still alive? Someone finish that guy off. Oh, and someone rescue Porthos. How are you doing, Porthos? You'll be fine. Pregnant late stage. Well, you attacked a pregnant dog? You are just going to extra hell for that one. <laughs> uh, it looks like the, uh, the mech hive got jealous. After the, the pirates got a couple of lashes at us, the mech hive was like, wait, 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 no, we want one more go. We want one more go. Ah, uh, transport pods, haywire scattered all over the place. Right, we are going to have to come up with a plan. We're going to have to get everyone into a location. How, how long ago, how long did we get? Yeah, that was five hours. We had five hours of peace and quiet. Thanks, Cassandra. You are just too generous. After a nice cup of tea and, you know, a shift in work, I've come back to see exactly how this is going to play out. Now, we've got a, a bunch of pods landing all over the place, but the main thing to worry about is we've got four, five, six of them landing in here. There's a seventh landing right in there. And then there's an eighth landing up here at the top, and they're all the ones inside our perimeter wall. All the ones outside our perimeter wall, we don't care about, except for these ones over here, because poor Lou, the guy who killed the, the dog murderer, yeah, I don't think he's going to make it out alive. He's going to, whatever's in there, doesn't matter, Scyther, Lancer, Centipede, they're probably gone. And Bonzo, they just came for some food, a little bit of a snack and a chat, maybe watch some pirates get murdered, and now they're about to run into whatever's in that, and I doubt they will survive, especially considering they're already injured. Hmm. Anyway, we have all of our people, except the sick ones. All headed towards this location. Uh, we're probably going to set up a little kill box here. Open that door. Hey, Netflix. Or <laughs> Netflix. Neelix. Open that door, please. Uh, once Neelix has opened that door, we'll get them to run back over there. And our animals are all heading back to try and hide, though I'm pretty sure whatever that is is going to take a pot shot at them. Or pot stab, whatever you want to call it. Oh. Uh, centipede with an inferno cannon. Yay. Uh, what have you got down here? Let me have a quick check to see what we're facing. Uh oh. Bonzo's already dead. Hey, they're still alive. 14 hours? We could probably rescue them. I mean, it might be worth it. Okay, it's not totally worth it, but I kind of want to do it anyway. Right, let's, let me check. Everyone is getting in position, and this thing seems to have not gone after our people just yet. Uh, who fired? Oh, it was you. Well, buddy, you're about to get hit by the animal police. They're here for you. Uh, we've got a squad set up down here. Nope. You better not... Oh, don't hit the door. That's just douchebaggery. Okay, you, fire that there. That actually should work okay. Perfect. Now, what the plan here is sort of simple-ish. We get this skip function here. We go grab, 
teleport you right there. Now, jump. Yep, there we go. Now, since it's stunned, we can just run back. Get out of it. Oh, I just realized that thing got the door got blasted open. How did how did the door get blasted open? Who who did that? Riker, uh, I'm going to need you to skip them. Nope, back, back, back. Skip. Don't. Why can't we see them? Uh, over here, maybe. Come up. There you go. Perfect. I want you to skip them right. Oh, they can't see. Right there. Perfect. Now, I want everyone to. Uh, that is not good. Hmm. This did not work out well. If that door had have not got destroyed, this would have been much simpler. We would have just kept them coming in from the side slowly, but surely dribbled them in. Hmm. EMP grenade is not going to go off soon enough. That guy's lining up a shot, and I do not want him taking a bead on Riker. So I think Riker here is going to melee attack that, assuming the Scyther doesn't get to him first. And then we've got someone over here who's going to hit it with a stun as well. I'd rather Psy uh, Riker loses an arm than dies to a lance shot straight through the heart. Ooh! They dodged it. Okay. That, that's fine. Okay, now the EMP has gone off. We should be golden, at least until the next centipede shows up. Oh, wait, did we get both the centipedes? If I recall, there was a second centipede. Oh, there he is. Perfect. Okay. We should be golden from here. We'll pull back Riker, we'll kill off what's left, and then we'll get on with the day. Yeah, they're dead. Boom, problem solved. And who are you? Spock, don't be shooting from long range. You'll get someone hurt. Oh, look at that. The Z's have made such a big mess. There's just one overlaid chunk. Uh, Spock, you can go over here. We're setting up this kill box for whatever the hell is going to make it through that. They are going to handle whatever is left down here. I think there's only two left. We've got one pikeman and one centipede. They should be fairly easy to take care of. Oh, and how did our... Ah, oh, damn it. Lou didn't make it. Sorry, Lou. That's what you get for helping out dogs, it seems. Hey, we are going to... What are you doing? Oh, you're attacking our donkey. Damn it. And there's one other somewhere around here. You know what? Let's just uh, let's just take care of the last of these and get, over, get it over with. Oh, would you look. A centipede showed up right into our kill box. It's almost like we planned this. Oh, it's lining up a shot. Can't have it doing that. How about a quick teleport? No! Riker, you were too slow on the teleport, buddy. There you go. Damn it, that was stupid. Very stupid. But at least we get to kill it. Come on, just die. Perfect. Okay, with that down, uh, that leaves nothing left in here. We just have that Muppet over there, which is attacking a wall. We'll send the animals over to deal with that, and we'll send everyone else over to the kill box. We'll figure out who needs medical attention, and we'll get everyone else... Hmm, yeah, we'll get figure out who needs medical attention, the rest will leave in here to take care of the incoming. Unfortunately, we haven't had time to tidy up our kill box too much or replace a bunch of things, but... Oh, O'Brien, oh, that, that was not what I meant, dude. I said... Ah, I wanted you to throw grenades there, not move there. My bad. Eh, there we go. Disease, infection. Sulu has gotten sick from infection in the left foot. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, that's one of the problems here. The roof got knocked off this, so it wasn't very good for tending. Just for a brief while. I'd forgotten the roof disappeared. And we've got Tasha hopefully disposing of some of the corpses that are lying around the place before people get too unhappy. And then we just got to deal with these mothers. This is turning into a bit of a long fight, so we're going to have everyone go grab a quick meal. Except for Kira, because she ate before she came. Because she's smart. Uh, so everyone's going to grab a very, very quick meal and then get right back into the kill box. Only thing we have to worry about at the moment is this pikeman, and they should hopefully get stunned instantly the moment they show up. How's everyone else doing? And Cisco should be going around making sure everyone gets well tended to. Oh, there we go. They're stunned. We'll get everyone in here to shoot them. Oh, thank God. That's the last of them, man. The reactor's ready. Reactor's finished. We actually... We, we've made it. And everyone's still kind of alive, though. I think O'Brien just ate a face full of something right there. Ouch. Okay, we'll uh, we'll let you go back to work, buddy. Or get, get, get some rest. Our hospital also needs a little bit of repairs. Oh, wow. Okay, that was... That was a long one. Um... It's just kind of stressful making sure all of this gets done in the right order. If you do one tiny mess up, a pawn is dead, so you try not to mess up. Oh, okay, we'll get the animals back out, we'll get everything good to go. But I think, yeah, we survived. Oh, we should probably rescue this person. How much time you got left, Bonzo? You know what? We'll go around and get someone down to rescue them immediately. But that, that'll be next episode. I think I think we've covered enough. I'll have to do a... We, we just got a next episode. All we got to do is finish off the ship. 
get everyone loaded up and get them off the planet. It should be fairly easy. I probably shouldn't be saying that. But uh, yeah, I don't think there'll be an awful lot of incite- excitement in the next episode in terms of uh, destruction and all that. But it will just be a case of finishing the ship, getting off the planet, and maybe just going over the stats and comparing this playthrough to the Randy Random one. Because Randy Random was definitely a very different beast to playing Cassandra, in my opinion. Just very, very different. There was a few differences between the playthroughs as well, but yeah, that's that's for the next episode. Anyway, I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this trip down murdering lots and lots and lots of Centipede Lane, and uh, good luck. Mm-hmm.